Hey YouTube, I am back with my C-Sharp tutorials once again. I have been busy with a lot of stuff. Uh, I have to maintain a website these days. It takes a lot of work out of my daily routine. Um, I finally fixed my settings on Cam Studio. They are looking beautiful as far as I have tested so far. I will actually get, be getting some more setting ideas soon from another YouTuber, I think. Uh, his name is P uh, PBJ746. I would go check out his YouTube profile and I would check out his videos. He makes tutorials also. They are pretty good. He makes web design tutorials mostly. And I have to say, he has some really nice tutorials. I've been watching his videos for, I don't know, three, two or three years, something like that. He has a lot more views than me. Uh, so, basically, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be going over objects and fields and we'll be making something with it this time instead of me just explaining it. I hope you can understand the last few videos I made. I was using a bad, a kind of bad mic. I hope you can go back and understand it because I'm not going to redo those. I just simply don't have the time. However, I will make this one as best as I can. It's going to be going over objects and fields and I'm just going to hit the ground running. Or hit the ground running. So, let's go ahead and create a new class, first of all. So just um Oh right. Okay, kinda sidetrack there. Create a new class called guy. Uh go ahead and change it to public class. Okay. So basically the class of guy let me explain things a bit here. The class of guy is going to be a person. Each guy will be a distinct person. And there's only gonna be two of them. There's gonna be Bob and Joe. The bank is just going to be an integer value, and Joe and Bob will have a money value, and they'll have a name. Now, obviously, you can probably guess the name. Each one will be declared as their own names. Like, this guy will be Bob, this one will be Joe. One will have $100, one will have 50 I mean, they'll, they'll be different. And uh, we'll be using fields to declare the different properties of them, if you will. Um, and uh, so, uh, whenever you create a new guy well okay let me go ahead and work on the guy class basically for the for this class we're gonna have two methods that they have uh, receive cash and give cash so uh, but but first we can before first before we create those methods let's go ahead and create their uh, fields so we're gonna create a public string of name we're gonna create a public string or actually a public int of cash Okay, so they each have a cat cache and a name that's declared, and then they're gonna have the methods. So we'll create the give cash method, and this is if they are giving cash to someone, and it will have an int of amount. Like we, like I explained earlier, uh, cat methods have a return value, and they use a value, or they uh. They use parameters to um, execute something and get a return value. And this one's only going to have one parameter, which is int amount. If I haven't g uh, said that term before, parameters are basically whatever you in uh, whatever you are inserting into or using for a method. So this parameter is going to be amount, or what you're passing through the method. So if amount is less than or equal to the cash of this person, then our and amount is greater than zero because we don't want them to that we don't want him giving away zero. There's no point. Then cash minus equal to amount. So subtract this amount from uh, that from cash. If you didn't know, you can do minus equal to in order to subtract. You don't have to do cash equals cash minus amount. You can just do cash minus equal to. So then the return value will be amount. And uh, else, or whoops, else, we'll create a message box and it says, I, oh, what the? I don't have enough cash to give you, and then plus amount name plus says or 
Alright. So, uh, basically, if he doesn't have that amount to give away, then it'll say, I don't have that, that enough cash to give you that. I'm sorry about that. And, uh, so then, obviously, the return value would be zero because he's not going to give any cash out. All right. So then, of course, we need a a uh, int method of receive cash. Ah, I cannot type today. Receive cash int amount. Um, Seriously. Alright. And now in, the, in this one, it's going to be if. Whoops, spanked out there. Amount is greater than zero, then cash plus equal to amount return amount. Else. message box amount isn't an amount I will take more on and then it'll do well actually I'll just do isn't an amount I'll take uh, comma name plus says dot 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 all right so basically whoops okay basically uh the, it's it's a method for them to receive cash and it parses through or yeah uh, it passes through it passes through a parameter of amount, and if the amount's greater than zero, then yeah, he'll take it. He'll take the amount. Cash plus equal to the amount. Else, uh, this amount isn't an amount I'll take, uh, Joe says, or Bob says, or whoever. And obviously, we have a return value of amount, and then on this one, we'll have return, ah, return zero. All right, so we got our give cash and receive cash uh, methods now we need to create our guys so let's go on over to the form double click on the entire form and what we're gonna do is go into public form one whenever it initializes the uh, form what we're going to do is we're going to create a new guy Joe is equal to no 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 is equal to new guy and then what we're going to do is we're going to say cash is equal to 50 and name is equal to Joe. And of course it needs to be a string. However, it's being stupid and auto-filling Joe cash. Okay. So then then we're going to go ahead and create Bob. Okay, stop doing that, kid. Right new guy and then we're gonna set his cash will be equal to let's say a hundred he, he's he's richer than than Joe Joe sounds like an average name well so does Bob <laughs> we'll set his name equal to Bob all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, run the method update form or call the method update form and I haven't created update form yet however let's go ahead and do that now